Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 237 of House Flipper Let Us Recommence with the Modern House down from the HGTV setting. Let's head on over. Oh man, we were thinking of a Japanese garden, and I think we were looking at selling it to. Hmm, I forget. If I had a sauna in my home, says Johnny Ojemwa, it would be great. That's right. We were thinking of selling it to the Johnson family. We had rooms and everything all picked out. We also had finished with uh, that. Let's um, let's just do a little bit of outside cleaning. I know, right? I might close that door so I'm not hosing inside. Yeah, I'm not seeing where this dirt is, but uh, it's it's vanishing as we as we speak. Oh yeah, the carport. I forgot. I know everyone's happy cleaning up the dirt. We haven't mowed. What is wrong with us? Normally that's already done by now. We, um, I don't know if I want to have timber on this house. Oh, I'm seeing. Now I see where the dirt is. Wow, that is kind of big, isn't it? All right, it's just like that whole dirty mark. There you go. There we are, beautiful. Nearly done, we just need to kind of tidy up all of that. All right, I think we've managed to, uh, to get rid of that. Hmm, time for choices. We've done plenty of American gardens. I was thinking of doing a Japanese garden, which means, let's just grab this thing, submit for garden contest. It's like a landscape in miniature, an inseparable element here is the pond and the surrounding stones imitating a lake and rocks. I insert mainly interestingly formed evergreen trees and shrubs, but also maple, rhododendrons and cherries. I have never done one of these before. Alright, maple, rhododendrons and cherries. And pond. Okay, let's just escape out of that. Okay, so if it's maple, rhododendrons and cherries, let's take down the trees. We might replace them with a row of cherry trees along this fence line. All right, let's just go around the other side here. There we go. I know, I'm not looking. I don't want to see it land on the neighbor's house or my roof. Okay. Sometimes you can chop for ages. That looks like a tree I can sell. Oh, now I have to cut it down. Fine, fussy, fussy, fussy. It's not letting me cut down the tree. Well, that's just rude. Let's just remove the stump. Maybe it'll get over its hissy fit if it can't see what happened to the other trees. I know, right? Aha, there we go. It's got a really low hitbox. Wow, that's... Uh... 
kind of awkward. Let's see if we can take it from, from this side. Lordy. Well, there you go. That's done. I know, we're not going to throw this tree out. I kind of like it. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Alright, so these are hit-me-down-low trees. And they, they really bounce. Um... What does it say? Interestingly shaped evergreens? That's kind of cute. Let's leave that. Let's leave them there for a minute. I'll think about destroying them in later. We may reconsider. If we were going to do an English garden, we might leave these trees in, but I think... We'll just get rid of them. There we go. Pretty much all of that. Oh man, I really hope no one was trying to walk their dog out there. That would be a pain. Yes, yeah, so we can do. We can do a bit of a landscape. We might do a wavy path through there. And put in some of those little interesting thingamy what it's bonsai bonsai trees. Interestingly shaped probably means I should think maybe about putting in some of those bull trees possibly but uh, definitely cherry trees I know I'm not looking there's a trail of tree destruction forming behind me or in the very least a row of empty stumps grab that. Nothing more satisfying than being a lumberjack in your own backyard. Until the neighbours get cross because you dropped a tree on the head. No sense of adventure some people. Break. Alright. That one we'll let live. Let's, let's leave the interesting pine trees where they are. And uh, we'll just get rid of these. Take that out while I think about what I'm going to do with the yard. Put the axe away because there's nothing for scaring the neighbours like roaming around the yard like the lunatic axe woman. There's no weeds. There's going to be less stuff. What is that? Oh wow, that's my gate. Holy cow, that's a huge gate. All right, that's fine. It's one of those automated doohickey thing in me. What's it? Let's uh, let's grab our whippy snipper and let's go. I know you've got to watch out for those doohickey thing in me. What's it? They're a, they're a right pain. We're just gonna get all the grass that we can off the side. Yeehaw. I don't know what it is, I just don't seem to want to be able to fix a straight line. There we go, that's a little bit more effective, isn't it? Okay, no, we can't walk through poles because we are not operating a ghost mower. There we are. Let's just deal with this. Now it's all pretty. Okay, it's nearly all pretty. It'll, it'll be all pretty soon. Just make sure. Beautiful. Alright, so it looks like this time what we'll do is we'll just do around the garage. We'll mow down that section near the... Um, pretty sure I can't fell the tree with the whippersnipper. We could try, but I don't think we're going to get anywhere. It'll probably tell us we need our axe or something equally ridiculous. Just uh, scare the snakes a little bit. There we go. I know, no self-respecting snake is going to stay that close to all with the snipper. 
All right, unless it's a Taipan, in which case it may just chase your whipper snipper, but that's beside the point. Weed. Not anymore, it's not. I know, it's such a narrow space, I might as well just get rid of that. There we go. Pretty. Hmm. Okay. And again. We could technically ghost mow this area, but I'm I'm kind of just enjoying the, the very cathartic buzz of the whippersnapper as we get rid of all of this out of our way I know one day I'm going to not walk into the tree that'll be a miracle what happened to you I walked into a tree uh-huh oh right there we go So we're going to just do this section here today. I think what we'll do is we're going to put down a few cherry trees. Um, and, and by a few, I, I mean we're going to line the entire section with them. So let's grab our plants. Let's grab our, here kitty, grab our edibles. Let's grab our cherry trees. Three sizes, small, medium and large. I don't know. Let's look and see how they look. All right. So this is our large cherry tree. Yeah. Let's have a look at our medium cherry tree. I mean, it'll fit. It'll take up the space quite nicely. Looks kind of cute. Let's have a look at the small cherry tree and just see how that looks. I mean, small cherry trees are going to grow into big ones, so... I don't know, where's that large one again? Or we could just get the whole growth process out of the way. I think we will just go with the large. How close can we get it to the garage? Here we're going to get cherries all over the roof at that rate. Let's move it this way. We need to buy many. I know this is kind of like our survival garden, only, only bigger. Different. Different. Only different. We didn't put a koi pond in our survival garden. We should have. We could have stocked that thing with edible fish. Not that koi's aren't edible, but they have a lot of bones. Or so I'm told. Alright. So what I'm thinking is we have these, these big tall Goomba things here. And then what we might do is we'll grab... What did they say? Uh, rhododendrons and maples. So that's our deciduous leaf plants. Man, we, you guys don't need to dumb it down. We, we do get what you mean. Or we could just put a... Um, let me just reference that garden again. Evergreen trees and shrubs, but maple, rhododendrons and cherries. Okay. Maple, rhododendrons, cherries, evergreen trees, and shrubs. <sighs> Alright, there's our cherries. Let's have a look at our maples. Now, maples are deciduous, or in this case, leaf plants. Man. Guys, we're not stupid. So there's our Japanese maple. We've got one on the other side. And it's really pretty. And it's, and it's red. I don't think it's dark red. Let's have a look. No, it's it's red red. So let's just grab our red. And I'm thinking, see that one's bigger than this one. 
Maybe that's not a maple. That's okay. I'm going to pretend it's a maple. And we might just put it this way. And then we're going to give it a friend. That's going to scratch the daylights out of your car, isn't it? Let's just move it back a little bit off the gate. All right, you may have to prune your maple. I think we'll put that one there. See, personally, I'd like them a little bit closer to the, uh, the driveway. But like I said, it's going to scratch the, the daylights out of your car if you do that. That'll do. Then we want something interesting in the middle, like a, an island of rock or uh, some kind of... Well, let's have a look at our bonsai here. It's a deciduous, but do we have different types of bonsai? So, for instance, if we had a maple or a rhododendron in here, it would be it would be interesting. What on earth is that? It's got the big band "Don't Buy Me" sign on it. That's a bit scary, really. Alright, so no. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? It was, was that a red one? It was. Okay, Asa Palmatum. Let's have a look and see, see what our maples are. Okay, it just says Japanese maple. That's not very helpful. Uh -huh. Alright, so what I want to have... Is we want to have needle plants there we go or coniferous things and I was thinking we might grab this thing because it's kind of pretty and we want to contrast it between that rich luxurious foliage and this I don't know if that's too big though no, no it looks okay we'll just grab this and we might move it Alright, I don't think that goes there. Let's just dump him over here in the middle of the long grass. No, maybe not the middle of the long grass. Um, what I want is is something kind of that size, but a little bit, but a little bit different. I know. Stop! Don't laugh. I mean, we'll work it out eventually. Alright, so yeah, something like this. We're going to grab this thing and we're actually going to center it as best we can behind the behind the, uh, the plant. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to bring that a little bit off center. Actually, we need to off center it. That's what we need to do. I know, I'm losing the light, so we're not going to finish this garden tonight. Uh, we will, however, just place it in where we're going to put, let's have a look at our rhododendrons. So they come under flower beds. We've got red. Man, quit it with the oleander. We don't need it. It's poisonous. It's very bad for bees too. Alright, so we have dwarf rhododendrons and not so dwarf rhododendrons. How big are these things? Okay, but I think they're too fluffy. Yeah, um, I don't know, maybe they're not. We also want rocks. So we've got the not-so-dwarf rhododendrons. Then we have the dwarf rhododendrons, which are quite tiny. We could use those as a border, and I kind of like that idea. Uh, what did they say? Maple, rhododendrons, and cherry trees. Right, so that's about it uh, from what they recommend. So I'm thinking we need we need some kind of gravel, uh, and I'm thinking it probably needs to be this blue stuff in the circle this time, believe it or not. And we're going to make an island. Oh, 
I know, get right under that. Okay, so there's our island. We need some rocks. I mean, we've got these stepping stones, but we also needed... I think it was the pebbles. I think we need the light ones. No, we don't need the light ones. We need the darker ones. We need a contrasting darker one. Maybe a red one. Let's look at these. No, that's too red. Brown. No, too dark. Maybe. Maybe. Sandy. Alright. We do. I think we need something like the sandy. I don't think the, the natural is dark enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our boulders. Which I think we're going to find in our um, decorations and sculptures. I'm looking forward to using the pond. That's going to be awesome. All right, sculptures. That's not what we're after. Boulders. They're, they're clearly marked boulders. Garden stones. All right, so we have... Oh my lord. Alright, well I'm going to put that over there. That's that's more what we want. And then I think what we want is we want something a little bit smaller. In a slightly different colour. Okay, a lot smaller in a slightly different colour. Man, is are you better? Or are you just humongous? No, okay, so we need something bigger than that. Let's have a quick look at our um, our lanterns. Okay, I think if I remember rightly, these things were kind of huge too. Uh, I want something about half the size. Simple lanterns. Yes. Maybe. All right. Then we need to put in the trees and the things. That's not going to happen this session. This session we've kind of worked our plant placement out, mowed our grass. And uh, now what we're doing is we're thinking about what we else we're going to do to it. So I'm thinking we're going to put rhododendrons in, but I don't think we're going to put a lot in. And normally I put up a mass of plants everywhere, but I think not this time. Um, Japanese house style, maybe. So we, we might want to change these doors for Bolsu. Let's have a look at our doors. Two meters. So you've got your Robin. I kind of preferred that. And it has, it has a dark brown kind of... kind of visage. We could do that for the outside. And then on the outside wall, we could look at... Uh, for cladding some kind of wall panel probably the vapor would not uh, i like the vertical it comes in vertical to start with these are a little bit red and these are a little bit pale so i'm thinking i'm thinking vapor would nut on the walls on the outside and the dark brown doors so that's that's my thought and we'll just give this house a bit of a, a different look uh, as we go but in the meantime so that means if we're, we we could follow that whole theme through and give this the floors a wooden wooden flooring. Uh, I don't really want it too dark. I want it fairly light. I don't want it that light. So yeah, so I think I think we're tending more towards this all the way. here there we go I'm going to grab this just move it this way yeah okay now I really like that as a start 
I was contemplating carpeting the uh, bedroom floors, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to put down this pretty much all the way through. All right. I know I put grey carpet in here, but I've changed my mind. I might change it back, but I'm thinking we're going to go for this timber, this timber look all the way through in the dining room. The kitchen, the kitchen we might put down. That's right, this was going to be a living room kitchenette, wasn't it? So the kitchen we're going to put down um, tiles, maybe a stone kind of tile. Let's have a look. See what we can come up with. So you your mat. That might work. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. I can always put the wood over the top of it. No, I like it. We'll keep that. All right, this is going to be our laundry room. Uh, you know what? Again, we might just might just go with the brown. That won't happen. Okay. So, so yeah, we're going to go uh, French vapor wood nut uh, and. Okay, let's head down to the other bathrooms while I've got the tiles in my hand. Yeah, that just really changes the whole aspect of the house. And we'd already decided on that for here, that works. Oh, I like it. Actually, I like it a fair amount, that's really nice. Alright, let's grab our wooden floors. I know, I'd want to like it. I'm putting it down in every room. I better like it. Definitely like it more than what it's got. I know, normally normally I just do one room at a time, but I, this house, this house, it just... It hasn't happened that way. I know, I lost track of where I was. Door. Okay. Alright, so that's our floors taken care of. Yep, definitely. Uh, so, with that done, that's right, we're gonna do we we're gonna do this. You know what? We're gonna do the teddy instead. The teddy is brown and will go much better with the floors. Just ignore everybody whinging for the minute. Goodness me, whiners, stop it. Let's go with our bedroom, let's go with our beds, let's zip, 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 zip down to this thing. Double bed teddy, we are gonna keep it in the brown. We might lighten out the wood just a little bit. I know, it looks like a mess. It's not. I maybe won't make it that light. Nope, too red. I know, here I am being fussy again. Shush. That blends in pretty well. Make the bed. There we go. Excellent. Right, they're happy. Now, I think I think we should probably go with wooden blinds and a wooden kind of wall, maybe. I don't know. I'm actually starting to wonder if I should have changed the floors. We could go black, purple, uh, black, purple, and yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm changing my mind again. It's all good. I know. Wine, 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 wine. Man, I really like the idea of the purple bed. Uh, double bed, warmy with that. I'm doing a dark wood floor. Oh, actually, let's grab the floor first. 
So it's still timber, it's just going to be darker. So we have the grey parquet, or the dark parquet, or the brown parquet. I don't really want to use black. Black, we're just going to have to do black for a gothy kind of house. We also have mahogany. I think that's a little dark. All right, let's go with one of these parquets. Um, um, it's either this one or the other one. I know. Let's make up your mind, woman. Shh. Oh, no, I like that. Let's try that. All right, so we are going to go with the purple with this one. And we're just going to dull the room down. Now, if we're going to go with that parquet, it means we kind of want to have... Uh, probably a grey wood and then we want purple yeah oh wow Jimmy Trader we're gonna upset him in a minute though alrighty now that we know what these are going to be, we can just work on the walls. So, walls. Somewhere in here. I was contemplating putting timber on the walls because I wanted to go with that whole Japanese theme, but I actually really feel just like playing with colour and texture. So we have wall panels. There's no grey wood panels. There are misty ellipses though. There are stars. That would really darken the room down. Let's just have a look. That's kind of pretty. Let's let's put this up and just see just see who comes to the fore on this one. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh my goodness. Jimmy Trader's getting really excited over there. This, this is not really his house, but he is one of the hardest people to sell for, so I'm actually quite curious. Wow, that is pretty, pretty, pretty. That is really gorgeous. Okay, let's, uh, let's just play a little bit more with this. I may just change my mind and do the whole thing uh, an entirely different color yet, but... I haven't used this before, so... Ah, no, not that. What do you think you're doing, woman? You just bought it. All right. It is... The, like I said, my only problem with it is it's going to darken this whole room down really quite a lot. I like it. It's pretty. I know, this is where it gets expensive, though. See, now I wish that that lavender, the, the sheet set was darker, just to match the... Um, man, we got two windows. This is going to get exy. That's right, it's not like we, we don't have the funds for it. Sometimes you've just got to play with it and experiment and see what the colours do when you stick them all together. Might not be your thing to start with, but you can still make a pretty nice room out of it. Alright, you can remind me I said that when I'm whining about trying to work with red. There we go. We're going to need a few more of these. I still like it, it's just magical. We need a like a star carpet of some kind. Alright, I don't think we're putting bubbles. Yeah, we need starry tiles for the bathroom too. It's all about the stars now. I'm, I've lost it. Completely lost the plot.
That that's interesting. Did we just have the art lady make a make a bit of a showing down the bottom there? I think we did. All right, we'll just see if we can finish this doorway off. Um, we we are going to. Oops. Oh man, we can't. All right, one more. Let's just get this down. I know, let's not sell it by mistake this time. That would be just silly. We've already done that once. We don't need to do it again. All right, that will keep our fussier clients. You know, I really like that. Yeah. All right, let's put the panels down, sell what's left. Yep. Wow, I would n never have thought to do that. We want a really dark colored rug and, and I think the rugs and the, the blinds are where we're going to be a little bit let down. So let's um, let's see how bad it's going to be. Let's grab our windows. We can go with the dark, like the really dark colored blue uh, and we would probably get away with it. Let's just put one up and see what it looks like. It's, it's not perfect, but it's it's close to what we need. Uh, the only other option we've got, let's have a look at this. See, there's nothing really dark enough in here. That's, yep. yeah, let's, let's not do that to anybody. That would just be rude. Clotho. All right, let's put one of these up and see what that looks like. I know this is, you never you never know what you're doing till you try it, right? I think it looks a lot better than the blue. Yeah, that does look a lot better than the blue. So that leaves us with just one more thing to try. So I'm liking the clotho. Mountable window blinds now come in wood colors. So we have black wood here. Let's um let's just see what this looks like when we put it up. That's actually All right, no, I think what we, we will go with the um, with the clotho blinds on this one. If we had a clotho blind that was kind of that really dark purple, that would be very cool. Um, actually, if we had any blinds that were that dark purple, if we had any blinds that matched the wallpaper, that would also be really good. So for all of you um, modders out there, that's that's my wish list. I really like that starry wallpaper. I'm wondering what it would look like in the, the really the first office, just because it's such a small space. All right, let's wander this way, have a look back. Yeah, you know, it's darker than I'd like, and I'd like to change the, the white frames to black, but, but it'll do, that's, that's possible. I also need to fix these lights because they're not, yeah, they're really not centered. Uh, we want to center it in the middle of the window if we can. Or possibly just where I've put it. Let's have a look at this one. So I think it's got to come forward a little bit. That'll do. All right. Now we need like rugs that are dark pools uh, or rugs that look like dark pools on the floor. We also need to have a really dark door here. Oh my gosh. Did I, I forgot to tile something. That's just rude. I 
I know. They're, they're shuffling away there. That flamethrower worries me. I'm like, I don't want the flamethrower, guys. I'm building a house of wood here. Wood. All right. That's all that done. Black blinds, light bed, grey wood. Okay. So over here we want some kind of dressing cabinet. Uh, probably a, a grey wood... Um, Actually, let's have a look at the dressing table sets just for a minute. Oh my. <laughs> that is pretty, but it's not what we're chasing. The mini chest of drawers mail is actually uh, something that's tempting. Bedside cabinets. Uh, the bedside table Hermes is my other option. It's quite expensive, but it looks nice. We are thinking chest of drawers Ven. Or double chest of drawers van. I'm liking the style of this one a lot better. So let's grab our grey wood. Alright, so that's what that's going to look like. Now the other option we've got here is dark wood. Yeah, I don't like it. Or black. No. So it's the grey wood that we're stuck with. Because Wenge, Wenge is just not. I don't know, actually. The, the Wenge has got that purpley tinge that we have in the wallpaper. I mean, we, it would, we would have to change the wood on the, um, on the bed. But okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Yeah, okay. That, that actually works better than the grey wood. Uh, so let's let's upset all the people and turn this into a wenge bedhead. I know we want a wenge bedhead, and all these guys are doing is whinge. Uh, wrong one. Just because it's purple doesn't mean it's the one you're looking for. Okay, that's American chestnut, greywood, sapel, wenge. Here we go, and purple. I mean, grey would probably work, but I would like the... There we go. So yeah, so the, the wench has that purpley touch to it. Wow, everyone's gone crazy. So we used a double chest of drawers Ven. Uh, what we're doing is we're looking at the style of bedside cabinets. So we've got this thing here, which comes in wench if we want it to. That actually might work. It's just the style of it. Alrighty. And then I'm thinking I'm thinking we probably want the um, some kind of lamp standing. And I'm actually thinking the standing diamond, although that's yeah no. Close but no cigar. Uh yeah, ditto with that. There is this one, but I don't think we're gonna get a lampshade that, that matches. So, I mean, I, I may be forced to take it back. I mean, let's, let's have a look and see how this looks. I don't think it's the right color. Yeah, no, let's, let's really no, not, not do that to anybody. That's just rude. All right. What about, um, I don't know. Let's no, 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 really no, please no, okay. We could give them a, a candlestick. Actually, let's have a look and see how this goes. The candles are all the wrong color. Yeah, no, that's the, the it's the wrong vibe for this room. Okay, we're gonna go with the standing diamond lamp. Maybe in the brass? Ah, it's too red. All right, it's just going to have to be black or silver or gold to match the stars. Yeah, no. 
Now let's go with our, our nice standard black. Turn the light on. And we might put another one over here and do exactly the same. There's some that's got this pink metal, but I didn't see them there. So it's just dark back this way. That'll do. All right. We need uh, two dresses, probably two low dresses, or we could make it a working bedroom. No, let's not make it a working bedroom. Let's just make it a sleeping, a good standard. Where's my furniture? Grab our bedroom, grab our bedside, no, grab our wardrobes, wardrobes. And uh, now we used our double chest of drawers van. There is a single chest of drawers van somewhere in here. I could be wrong. No, okay, so I think what we're doing is we're looking at the... Actually, you know what? We may be looking at these again. Let's just see if they fit. They do. Going all symmetrical on you, I know. We could put desks in here, theoretically, but... Um... No, I like that a lot better. Okay. So the next thing we kind of need to think about is what we're putting on these side walls and what we're putting on either side of this cabinet. So I think we're looking at some kind of tall, thin cupboard, but we don't have any, so we're probably looking at tall, thin trees. So let's have a look at our, our decorations and our plants. What have we got in hanging decorations? They're kind of pretty. Probably too much for this room though. Standing decorations. Hmm, I'll have to think about those. Sculptures, we need more of those. Definitely more sculptures. Uh, back and back. All right, so let's stick with our plants. Now we could try and go with some of these holographic stuff. They're very shiny. We have some dark colored ones. No, we have dark colored pots. Okay, so the darkest color we've got for these is the um, is the dark blue leaf. And to be honest, I really don't think it's it's not right. I like it. Uh, let's have a look at the bugle lily, and we'll again go with our darkest possible combo. See, that's a little low. I wanted something tall, but that, that does fit. I mean, we could stick that up here. It's a little bit tall. All right, let's have a look and see what else there is. Right, I am getting kind of stuck on this idea, though. How about we have a look at the holographic bamboo in the dark? Because, I mean, that fits. I know. Who am I making this for? I don't know. There, there, here comes our art lady. Right, I'm going to leave them there for the moment. I'm not sure if I like them or not. So that could be, that could just be a problem. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of these nice, pretty little, little tiny, shiny things. Uh, we're going to go for our white. No, we're going to go for dark blue. We're going to pop this one. Because it's kind of togetherness, so the trees are, are facing inwards to each other. That bamboo is going to go. It's really starting to annoy me. Right? And then... See, I could leave that like that. I like it because it's just simple and plain. The only other option I, I would do is I would grab this shotgun style bonsai in the white. And I would put... these here. Okay, let's have a look at that. I don't know, I think the blue on its own had more impact. But the light, the white, 
lightens up the place really nicely. So I know, let's leave that there for the minute. Now, oops, wrong button. I'm not liking the bamboo. It's too, um, I don't know, too something, too blue, too I'm um, too in your face. Let's have a look at white bamboo, but I honestly, I think maybe nothing in that space. Look at it again. Because the room is dark to start with. Give me a minute, I want to try, um, let me just grab that, get out there for a tick. Oh, okay, that looks a little bit, oh no, wait a minute. Let's, let's just try with the two yellow and see what happens. I mean, I, I might get upset with them in a little while, but we'll see. Yeah, no. One was okay. Yeah, one is okay. Now we need something over here that's not bamboo and is white. Um, the tree's too big. Maybe. No. The lily. Yellow would be too much. What if it was uh, white leaves and yellow flowers? It doesn't work. It's okay. think we're going to be able to do that with these let's um let's have a look and see what sort of plants other plants we have we have this thing here it has a black pot oh that's right it does not fit in the corner dope and I think this one's going to have the same problem yeah just that little bit too it looks like it should fit but uh, it doesn't yeah Alrighty, let's, um, I mean, this is kind of cute in and of itself. She could put it over here, but no. All right, what else we got? So it's beginning to look a lot like, um, could be just our usual culprits. Okay, that's not going to fit. Pretty sure that won't fit either. It's kind of a bit fluffy too. No, that's not going to fit. This one, this one's wrong. Yeah, that one's, it's definitely wrong. Let's try something else. That would fit, I think. Uh, and it's an option. See, it would fit, and it's kind of small and low. I, I wanted something taller, and I don't think we're going to manage it. The Ficus Elastica. Ooh, that's a bit bigger than I remember. You think I'd remember it for the last time I tried to fit one in? That's that's kind of tempting. Let's leave that there as an option. 
because our only other real options are our Dracaena, which does not have the right colour pot, or our Juca. I think we're going to stick with the ficus. The ficus elastica. And we're going to just mirror that out. Right, there we go. Right, so what I was thinking was I was either going to put a television up here. If we do that, we, we're definitely going to scare Jimmy Trader away. But this place has so many bedrooms, it's... Um, yeah, let's keep going with our Johnson family. Okay, so we need uh, pictures, pictures and paintings. See, we could put one of these on the wall. It's, it's an entirely different feel to the place though. It's a very personal kind of message to think outside the box. Snow leopard, but who wants to have a kitty watching you all night? Photo magic stars. Now that. Okay, it's too blue. It's not purple enough. This is where it gets tricky. I mean, the picture I had in mind was the, the touch picture. And that's really at odds with the rest of the feel of the room. You also have the lily. So I was thinking just of putting touch up as again and maybe making it the medium size this time around. Wow, that's very domineering, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think it actually fits, to be honest. Now she's whining because there's no pictures. Stop! I don't think it even works in the smaller format. No, see, it's it makes the wall too busy. In in itself, the wall is a is a feature all by itself. All right, so not that, and I'm pretty sure this won't work either for the same and pretty much for the same reason yeah no all right so those are those aren't right that kind of works See, so our alternatives are you can put this here or you can put a mirror here and you can put this here all right that works we're leaving we're leaving that at that which means we just have this blank space over here to fill but i'm thinking we might we might just bite the bullet and go with a mirror yeah all right let's grab our mirrors and see what we've got oh i need Probably got to be that one. Where's our wench? There's our black. There's our wench. Do I have a large size? No large size. That's annoying. I know I've, I've become quite addicted to the um. That'll 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 do. Uh, to the to the sizing up and down that has been introduced to the game. And we are going to grab just the blue because we want that to tie into the rest of the room. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're doing is we're going to go and we're going to put in a couple of cupboards along here because you do kind of need wardrobes. 
Uh, we've got plenty of drawers, so let's just have a look at the hanging space. Wow, I've taken a bit of time with this, so we may have to finish up sh as soon as we get this part done. Let's have a look. All right, so I'm, I'm actually heading more towards these. I mean, that's, yeah, see, that's the chunky style, whereas this gives us the same narrowy kind of style as the rest. So we are going to go with wenge on this. And I think what we'll do is we'll put one here. And then we're going to put one over here. And then we're going to grab our bookcases from the living room when it lets me. There we go. So we've got a couple of bookcases here. We do have these, but I'm actually thinking, whoops, let's grab cabinets. There we go. I'm actually thinking rather than go for these wiry, busy, elegant kind of things, we might go for this again in wedge. And we might give it black handles just to dull that down. grab that and just move it down this way now that does leave me with a lot of blank wall space here but you know what I think I'm going to leave that blank wall space right in we're going to just grab ourselves a couple of doors and then we're going to call this room finished so let's have a look at our doors I like the interior car um, they look kind of cute and they come in black and they, they also keep that narrow horizontal stripe thing going. Yeah, let's go with these. Go. I think we might. Let's have a look and see what it looks like all blacked out. The moment you've got glass, which means your bedroom is not private. Frame is black, that's good. Yeah, I'm thinking we might go with the door like this. Alrighty. And I actually would prefer it to open um, inwards like that. So let's, yeah, see like that works. You're not going to wipe anyone out with the door that way. So we're going to do the interior of bathroom as well. Uh, let me just work out which way I want it to open. All right. Uh, I think I'd prefer it to open into the cupboard. So let's grab our bathroom door. Now this one we could do with glass. Matter of fact, I think we will do it with glass. Okay, so that's all glass. So you can kind of get that shape, that misty glass shape through here. So let's grab this. And we want it to open the other way. All right, so that means I'm gonna change the floor just where the door is to match the rest of the bedroom floor. So we just grab our floor tiles, panels, my mistake. Uh, we want the grey parquet. There we go. I like it. It's it's um it's a nice large airy bedroom. Now the one thing we haven't done is we have not done floor rugs. My bad. Let's have a quick look. We want decorations for the floor. That makes sense to me. Uh, I just have this feeling we're not going to find anything. That might work because the purple is not I mean you look at it it's not going to work it's too then again I could be wrong let's uh, let's up the size I don't know yeah no I have a look at this one
it's not as in your face which is what I like about it let's just zip this way don't know I really was kind of hoping for a purple or something that was much more similar to the walls but I don't think we're going to get it let's have a quick look at this one it's still a bit light See, that's too contrast with that. Okay. And then th because this area up here is so big, we could always go with your little one. That one over there. Uh, you might want to go with... I don't think you do want to go with the walking rock. Let's just grab this. Alright, let's have a look. See, now it looks a little bit too patchwork. I, I actually think I prefer the plain. I know, says she putting this in. No, you know what? I, I actually think I prefer the really plain oh that was interesting we did put the art girl all the way up to the top when we did that I think though you know I don't know if I do prefer it now oh. all right let's just put one big rug in that's that I can live with Although now these patches do look bare, don't they? So I'm using a horizontal just to make them look like they all belong in the same area. That I think looks better than when the rugs are turned the other way. Okay, we are going to keep it at that. That is our bedroom. That wall looks bare without a picture, but that's okay. All right, I know. Don't yell at me. You know, for a minute I thought these would suit. I mean, it lifts the whole room if you did that. No, oh, I like it. All right, let's center it. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that as well. I know, it was sophisticated, then I added this in. Oops. But on the other wall... No, we're about right. Let's let's leave it there. All right, this is our bedroom. Master bedroom is done. One, and we'll take a shot of this corner. Two, and we'll take a shot of this corner. And then we'll just take a shot from over here. I like it. I really like the star wallpaper. That's that. On that note, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for hanging with me. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit like. If you want to see me, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.